They say Miss Crawley means to leave her fortune to Captain Rawdon Crawley, who will accompany her for the journey. See, it's intended as among the guests. I'll be after you to marry next. Oh, oh Teddy, how could I? And my heart belongs to you. Matilda, wicked boy. Welcome. Brother. You know Lady Southdown, I think, and her daughter, Lady Jane. Mm -hmm. Aunt Matilda, on behalf of the entire Crawley... Keep your toading until I get to a fire. You can suck up all you wish once I'm warm. Well, that's what is in our place. We may have the title as Mama, but Miss Crawley has the money. Mm -hmm. And don't we know it? Now, Miss Becky, this is my younger son, Rawdon. And mind you, stay clear of his flattering lashes. He breaks hearts for a hobby, but he's a soldier, through and through. I'm warned. in Miss Crawley, I can tell you. I seem to remember anchovy paste is a favourite delicacy of yours, Aunt Tilly, but not for do doggies. I don't agree. I suspect she's the quickest wit in the room. No, 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 I mean my brother, not my aunt. I used to call her Miss Crawley at Eton. Go on. Admit it. He's the dullest dog in shoe leather. Oh. Are you trying to steer me towards an indiscretion? Right. Would you like me to? No man has managed it yet. What was that? Nothing. False note. Allez, preuve, il y a dépêché. That was a base sense of Mademoiselle Don't waste your time, Miss Sharp. All foreign languages are ancient Greek to my sisters. And they always will be if they're not spoken before them. I quite agree, Miss Sharp. What a treat to find someone cultured in this house. <laughs> 